Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we will discuss about effects of El Nino on global weather. In previous videos, we have already discussed about El Nino, La Nina, El Nino Mudoki and La Nina Mudoki. If you want to see these videos, then the links is in the description. Now, this image indicates the air currents in our atmosphere during neutral conditions as well as during El Nino conditions. We will use this diagram to understand how El Nino affects weather across the earth. During the neutral conditions, we see that one of the air current, it starts from South America and goes towards Australia. It rises over Australia, giving a lot of rain over here because the winds carry a lot of moisture as they move over the Pacific Ocean. As this wind rises, it gives a lot of rain in this region. This air then travels over upper troposphere and then descends over South America. One branch of this air then moves towards the eastern margin of South America. It rises up, giving a lot of rain in this region again. And then again, it comes back and descends over South America. Now, one branch of this air which is rising over Australia, it moves over Indian Ocean. And it descends over a region which is called Mascanesai in our Indian Ocean. One branch returns back towards Australia while the other branch moves towards Africa. This branch again rises up and it gives a lot of rain in Central Africa as well as Western Africa. So here we see that this air current which is descending over Mascarenesai, it brings a lot of air over Indian Ocean and this air is then taken towards the Indian subcontinent bringing a lot of rain in this region because this air current when it moves from here to here it moves over the Indian Ocean carries a lot of moisture brings this moisture towards Indian subcontinent and giving it a lot of rain therefore this descending air is very important for Indian monsoon we also see that because of cloud formation over here we get a lot of rainfall over here again this ascending air current gives a lot of rainfall over these regions and similarly we get a lot of rain in these regions but here because the air is descending it is coming from upper part of atmosphere towards lower parts and due to adiabatic heating it does not give any rain and there is a dryness in this region we also see some dry parts in north america now from this image we can see the regions which are having rainfall indicated as blue while the regions which experience dry climate because of normal wind flow now let's see what happens during el nino conditions we know that some of the air current changes their direction during el nino so here we can see the air current which moves from australia towards south america it rises over south america giving a lot of rain in this region this air current then moves in upper troposphere and then comes back and descends over Australia. Now here it does not give any rain. One part of this air current it moves towards the eastern part of South America and descends there and does not give any rain again because it is descending from higher part of atmosphere towards the lower part of atmosphere and during this process it gets heated due to adiabatic heating and we know that when it is adiabatically heated it will not give any rain. Therefore these regions does not experience any rain. We can see here that the branch of air which was descending over Indian Ocean does not exist. Therefore, the wind which was brought here and then taken back to Indian subcontinent does not exist or is heavily reduced. Therefore, the monsoon in India is also reduced. Therefore, we can see that during El Nino condition, the total monsoon in India is drastically reduced. Here we can see that the wind current is rising over Africa giving a lot of rain to central parts of Africa. From the top view we can see the regions which experience a dryness as yellow color and the regions which experience monsoon in blue colors. So we can see that Africa that is central Africa experience a lot of rain. We can see that there is a lot of rain in South America as well as North America. But we can see that there are dry conditions, drought-like conditions in Australia, India and eastern margins of South America. Now here is a diagram where we can see the warm conditions and the wet conditions. And let's try to map it with the global air current. 
we see here that during El Nino period, the air rises up and therefore we see some wet conditions over here because there is some rainfall over here. This air current which rises up, it moves towards Australia and descends over Australia. Because of which there is dryness in this region because the descending air from upper atmosphere does not bring any rain to that region. And since the air is descending from higher atmosphere, it will not give any rain in this region. Therefore, there is dryness in this region. Then we see that a branch of this descending air moves towards South America. It rises up. And because it is rising up and it comes over oceans, it brings a lot of rain to this region and we can see wet regions over here. There is some rainfall even in North America. This air, uh, this branch of this air moves towards eastern side of South America and descends there. And there it again does not bring any rain because it is descending and therefore this region will experience dry conditions. Now let's see the La Nina effects. Here the wind currents change and the air descends over Africa therefore giving a dry conditions because descending air that is the air which moves from higher atmosphere to lower atmosphere does not bring rain and therefore there is no rain in this region during La Nina conditions. This air branch then moves towards the western part of Africa it rises up and it brings rain to this region. One branch of the descending air it moves towards Australia. It rises up here and because it is rising up and it has moved over Indian Ocean it brings a lot of rain in this region. Again one branch of this ascending air it moves towards South America and it descends over here. Now as we have already discussed descending air does not bring rain therefore we will see that this region feels dryness. Another branch which moves towards Western America or Western South America it there it rises up and it brings rain therefore we can see wet conditions over here. So this is how the El Nino affects the global weather phenomena. I hope you like this video and if you have liked then please subscribe and share with your friends. Do follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you.